everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. And special thanks to Mino Zweers for sharing this. Most of us are already aware of this mega church's compromise with the world. May it be their lavish, unbiblical services, playing secular music, and outlandish things like the naked cowboy or their former leaders focus on money and saying things like Muslims and Christians worship the same God, encouraging the ecumenical movement with the Catholic Church, not to mention his silence on the issue with his dad. Then, of course, we've got Carl Lentz's influence as a pastor doing shots with Justin Bieber in the bar, not to mention his affair with a Muslim woman. They've had leaders in the past misuse church funds, and the laundry list of issues with this church could be talked about for hours, I suppose. But it would appear that the scandals continue to be exposed, and in this report, another lawsuit is brought into light. Former Hillsong employee Natalie Moses is behind this, and she's saying that they've moved millions of dollars in payments through overseas entities to avoid scrutiny by the Australian Charities Regulator. One of the issues seems to be that Hillsong leaders use tax-free money for large cash gifts to Hillsong founder Brian Houston and his family. And if this is true, then that's not a biblical use of the offerings the body of Christ is giving. The whistleblower, Ms. Moses, who worked within the church's financial department, claimed the Australian leadership team suspended her employment after she refused a directive to deceive regulators about its overseas activities. Interesting indeed. The article goes on to say that there are concerns that the Australian taxpayers are being ripped off by Hillsong. And there's a lot more that you can read in this article that I will leave a link to in the description below, but I think you get the gist of things. This video is not being made to shame those who go to Hillsong, but to show you that the foundation and inner workings of this church are far from Christ-like. This is a flashy, worldly church that is full of compromise and error, and I pray that God would lead you away from this movement. We're going to keep it short for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.